So if we would have a well-randomized experiment, we could in principle estimate the treatment effect consistently by just looking at the difference in the average outcome in the experiment uh, in the treatment group in the experimental period and uh, the average outcome of the control group in the experimental period. So more concretely, we would uh, take the outcome in the treatment group 100.7 and subtract from it the outcome in the control group 128.7 and we get a estimate of the treatment effect of minus 28. So minor, uh, we would expect that turning off this third, we would estimate wrongly uh, that turning off the search engine marketing reduces average daily revenues per diem a by 28,000 US dollars and that's kind of like roughly say 20% of the average revenues we have in the con control group uh, in the experimental period so it's not such a very small amount however our data was not perfectly randomized and in particular we see that already before the experiment there were substantially differences between the treatment group and the control group. If we look at the period before the experiment was conducted, so search engine marketing was on for both groups, um, and take the average revenues in the treatment group, 105.8, subtract from it the average revenues in the control group, 132.4, we get also a difference of minus 26.6. .6. So even there was no experiment running. So this really suggests that the control groups and the treatment groups are different and it would be plainly wrong to associate the complete uh, 28 um, as the cause or the effect of the experiment if already the difference before the experiment was 26.6. Uh, so a natural estimator is if we correct kind of the difference between treatment group and control group in the experimental phase by the initial difference we had between the two groups before the experimental took place. So we would compute minus 28 and subtract from it. So we would compute minus minus 26.6 and then we come up with an estimator of the treatment effect of minus 1.4. And that's of course a much, much smaller effect. Uh, so here this estimator, which is called the difference and difference estimator, suggests that the turning off search engine marketing reduces the average revenues per day per DMA only by 1,400 US dollars, a much smaller amount. And why is this called the difference and difference estimator? Because we basically take a difference of differences. So these minus 28, we call this was a difference between the outcome in the experimental period of the treatment group and the um, control group, so this difference. And we subtract from this difference, basically the difference in the outcomes in the pre-experimental period between the treatment group and the control group. So we compute a difference of two differences. And under relatively weak assumption, this I think quite intuitive estimator consistently estimates the causal effect of our treatment. And we don't need, in particular, that we have a completely randomized experiment. So we can allow that systematically for, uh, um, uh, we have, for example, the control groups, DMA, with higher average revenues than in the treatment group. There's also an alternative way how you can think and compute the difference in difference estimator. So let's first look how the average daily revenues have changed in the treatment group um in the experimental phase compared to before so we take the difference of the average revenues in the experimental phase 107 uh, and subtract from it the average revenues in the treatment groups from before and we get a minus 5.1 so this may wrongly already suggest that turning off advertisement reduce da daily revenues by one by 5100 dollar however there could be seasonal effects or time trends. I mean, the experimental the experiment took place in different months. Maybe in, in, in June, we typic, perhaps we have lower revenues on average than in May. So we kind of would like to control for such seasonal effects or time trends. And 
To get an estimate of these time effects, we can take a look of how the revenues have changed over time in the control group. I mean, for these regions, uh, search engine marketing was not turned off. So this kind of should give us an estimate for the uh, seasonal effects. And if we compute the difference of the average revenues in the experimental period minus the average revenues in the control group in the pre-experimental period, we get also kind of uh, a reduction of revenues of 3.7. So it kind of makes sense to correct these uh, difference of minus 5.1 over time in the treatment group by the uh, difference we had found in the control group. So we would subtract from this minus 5.1 uh, the difference in the treatment group over time, the difference in the control group over time, and we find exactly the same difference and difference estimator we had before. Uh, we estimate a causal effect of turning off search engine marketing of one of minus 1.4. And also this can be written as a difference of difference. So here I have the difference between periods of the treatment groups. I subtract from it the differences um, uh, over time in the control group. So I again compute a difference in difference. So both routes lead exactly to the same difference in difference estimator. And I think both are kind of a very intuitive way to estimate the causal effect in our experiment.